Hello friends, today I am going to discuss derivatives, which is a very important part of our financial markets. This presentation is useful for the students of money and banking and financial economics. Now, what are derivatives? Derivatives are the financial instruments whose values are derived from the value of underlying assets. Underlying assets can be one or more. It can be equity, forex or any other index. Derivatives are available for following segments in India. Stock derivative like stocks of FMCG like HUL, ITC, Britannia, stocks like IT sector like Infosys, HCL, Wipro, etc. Then we have index derivative like Nifty, Bank Nifty, Nifty FMCG, Nifty Pharma. Then we have a commodity derivatives where we trade in commodities like gold, silver, crude oil. Then the currency derivatives that are available on four currency pairs in India. They are US dollar, Euro, Great Britain pound and Japanese yen. And lastly, the interest rate derivative. Now let us see the types of derivatives market. So derivative market are a following types. Forward contract, future contract, option, swap and swaption. Forward contract is a non-standardized contract between the two parties where there is no clearing house. Future contract is the standardized contract where trade are done on exchanges and there is a provision for the clearing house. While options are the types of derivatives where you have a right but not obligations to buy and sell the underlying asset. Options are of two types, call option and put option. Then we have a swap and lastly we have a swaption which is the combination of swap plus option. Now the features of derivative market. When we enter into derivative market, five things are predetermined. That is the product in which we trade, the quantity, the price, the quality and the date of delivery. Suppose we are dealing in trade wheat derivative. So our product is wheat that is our underlying asset. Now the quantity of wheat, how much wheat you have promised to sell, the price per quintal, the quality of wheat. We have various qualities, then what quality we have promised to sell and the date of selling which is predetermined. So all the five parameters are predetermined in derivative market at the time when the contracts are signed. Derivatives are traded both on the exchanges and over the counter. Over the counter derivatives are unorganized market. They have no clearing house. They are traded outside the formal exchanges without the supervision of exchange regulator. Therefore, they have a counterparty risk. But derivatives which are traded on exchanges are standardized, they are regulated, they have a clearing house facility and they have well defined set of rules. So here you can see over the counter derivative where the agreement is done on one to one basis on emails, on phones and there is no exchanges or clearing house involved in that contract. Now if we talk about the exchange derivatives, we have two major exchanges to trade derivatives. That is Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange. These two exchanges provide us the platform to trade in derivative market. It has a proper clearing house facility and it is controlled and regulated by Security Exchange Board of India. Now the clearing house, which plays a very important role in clearing and settlement of securities. It provides counterparty risk guarantee. We have Indian Clearing Corporation Limited, clearing house of Bombay Stock Exchange and NSC International Clearing, which is a clearing house for NSC, National Stock Exchange of India. Now let us see the participants of derivative market. They are arbitrage, speculator and hedger. Speculators are the risk lover. Their motive is to make maximum advantage of price fluctuation. They are extremely high risk seeker who anticipate future price movement in the hope of making large and quick gains. While hedger are the risk averse, they wish to protect themselves from the risk and uncertainty involved in price movements. By doing so, they try to get rid of uncertainty associated with the price. While arbitrager are lower risk trader who involve in simultaneously buying the securities in the lower price market and selling it 
in a high price market this could be possible only when the same securities are traded in different prices in different markets so now to understand derivative market more clearly we have to consider the cash market and compare both the derivative and a cash market to get a more better idea on it so if we consider the ownership criteria we can see that in cash market we buy the share we take the delivery and keep it in a demat account we are called as a shareholder but in derivative we can never be a shareholder because we just hold the position stock which we have to square off at the end of the settlement now if we talk about the holding period we find that in cash market if we buy the share we can hold the share for long they can be a transgenerational that is a share can be transferred from one generation to another but in derivative these are not true because we have to settle the contract within the 3 months or at the time of expiry so if we differentiate derivative in a cash market on ground of dividend we find that in cash market when we buy a stock we are entitled to get the dividend as we are the part owner of the company but in derivative market there is no dividend or any corporate benefits now if we talk about the risk in the cash market where shares are bought we can hold it for an indefinite period of time and can hence sell when the prices are higher but in derivative market like in future where we have to settle the contract within the specified period that is expiry and book losses investment objectives of the two market also differs in cash market individual buy shares in cash market and become an investor while in derivatives individual buy a contract in derivative market to hedge risk and to speculate if we talk about the lot size or the number of shares to be purchased in cash market we are free to buy even one share or any number of shares according to our convenience but in derivative market we are supposed to buy only the lot size for example if we want to buy bank nifty we have to buy one lot which consists of 25 shares for bank nifty if we talk about the margin money so in cash market we have to pay the entire amount not only the margin money but in derivative market we are supposed to pay only the margin money that is if we buy one lot of share of state bank of india which has 1875 shares we just have to pay the 15 to 20% of the cost of that lot not the entire amount now let us summarize the difference between the derivative and a cash market in cash market we can buy one or any number of shares according to our convenience but in derivative market we are supposed to buy only the lot size which is decided by the organized exchanges for every stocks in cash market we are supposed to pay the entire amount what we have purchased but in derivative market we are supposed to pay only the margin money cash market is used for investment purpose but derivatives are generally used for hedging arbitrage and speculation only tangible assets are traded in cash market whereas derivatives both tangible and intangible assets are traded when an individual buys shares in the cash market he becomes the part owner of the company but no ownership happens in derivatives market because the contract get expire at the time of expiry in cash market the owner of the share is entitled for dividend but there is no dividend in the derivative market now lastly we see the advantage of derivatives over the cash or spot market if we talk about the cash market in cash market we have to buy and sell only the stocks we cannot buy and sell the index we cannot trade in the index in the cash market like nifty nifty bank nifty fmcg but in derivative market we can buy both index and individual stock of a company if we talk about the transaction cost we find that the transaction cost are higher in cash market and lower in derivative market because in derivative market we have to pay only the margin money but in the cash market we have to pay the whole amount of stocks what we have purchased if we talk about the speed we often say that the 
cash spot market less speed of financial transaction as compared to derivative if we talk about the liquidity we say that cash market is less liquid while derivative is more liquid cash market people buy stocks only for investment purpose but in derivative market people trade for hedging of their position in the cash market arbitrage and for speculation if you have any questions on this presentation please leave your questions in the comment section and please like and subscribe my channel to get further notification thank you so much